Alison, thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure, Matt. Thank you. You're so welcome. Now, how long have you been in our wonderful school for? I've just clicked over three years. I've just uh, joined Masters Academy. Congratulations. <laughs> this is a celebration. Thank you. Hey, three year, Yay! year anniversary. Yay! <laughs> I love it. That's <laughs> awesome. And so I know because I've had the wonderful um, opportunity to connect with you a lot through your three year journey. So I've seen the ups and the downs and the growth and the, and the, you know, the breakthroughs that you've been through. Let's go back. Let's start at the beginning. <laughs> what inspired you to even do this in the first place? Um, oh, wow. Let's go back to the beginning. So let's go back even further than when I joined TCI. Um, I've, I don't know how many years it was before. Um, I was not in a good place. I found myself, gosh, this is thinking way back now. That seems like a lifetime ago. Um, I, I found myself, I got married, bought a farm with my husband. We had a child really quick. Um, I was not, I, I don't know if it's postnatal depression. I was not in a good place. And I was suffering from anxiety and life was just pretty crappy, really. Um, more than crap it was it was horrible we weren't getting along it was life to me at that moment wasn't worth living and i was struggling to find a way out and find the path that was going to work and i i stumbled across a coach um and decided to give this coaching thing a go uh, as i'd done um seeing psychologists and stuff before and it hadn't had the impact that i needed Anyway, I worked with this coach for about three months and my whole life, and I think I remember telling you this story the first time I met you, and I said my life went from being so shitty to that exact same life went from being so shitty to beautiful and amazing, and there was love, and it was like everything went from black and white to colour. And I thought, wow, this is important, and I want to give to people i want to create this change for people as well i want to share what i've learned um and then strangely enough and i've heard so many people say this it wasn't long after i had this plan in my head i was going to study for like five years and go to all these different places around the world to learn about coaching because you know i had to have something um and then this facebook ad turned up <laughs> on Facebook for an, an event with you, um, with TCI in Sydney. I was like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll go down and check this out. And this will be the first one I go to. And um, I, I remember sitting in that room. It was one of those, what were they called back then? I forget, it was a while ago. And I signed up there for the bottom level. Yeah. And came along to that. And that was me. I fell in love with TCI and realized that I could become a coach away and I had everything I needed with you guys um yeah so that's how it kind of came about <laughs> I think it's a really awesome thing to, to point out is that sometimes we think all right I've got to study for five years and I've got to do all this stuff and and then and then a lot of the time when people meet us they go wow so you have this model where I can actually start coaching really quickly and I can learn as I go I had a mentoring call with someone the other day and they said to me, um, you seem to be able to retain a lot of information. And, and she said, you must have a really great memory. And I said, well, actually, no, if I base that based on other things, there's a lot of stuff that I don't remember, but I remember the things that I do. And so I was saying that the main missing quadrant that people have when they want to retain information is they don't take action on the things that they're doing. And that's why it's so important inside the school. You learn something and then you practice it with a real person inside the school. You learn something and then you practice it. And that model builds up people's confidence so much faster than if you were to like study for five years and then, you know, one day be ready to actually do it. You'd actually just be full of anxiety and, you know, super worried because you've never actually done it. Yeah, absolutely. I totally, totally agree. Now, when you started, you were in a place where you wanted to give this to other people. I really love that because I think that it's, uh, I've said this in other interviews today as well. 
it's a powerful thing that we have when we overcome some of our own challenges and then we have that realization. I love that you said that, you know, your, your whole world shifted, but it actually didn't change. Like your, your outside world was exactly the same, but you applied the coaching to yourself. And then you're like, holy shit, it's gone from black and white to color. This, this is available to people, right? Yes. So I need to give this to others. And was that like a yeah. big part of your driving force to get you going and move through your fears and like, because you were connected to why you wanted to do it? Yes. Uh, yeah, I, it was. Um, it really was. And I think back now to when I started, I thought I knew a lot already. Um, and now looking back, you know, <laughs> what is that? On a good day, I know, you know, 5%. I, I've grown even more than that, but it was... I, I wanted to help people because I saw girls, women and in the same place that I was at and they weren't able to connect with their beautiful babies or with their husbands and they were really, they were lovely people and had psychologists just filling them full of more drugs and, you know, I, I'm not saying that that's not, I get that there's a place for that but for me that didn't work and i thought there's there's an uh, there's another way it doesn't have to be like that and it was so simple and i wanted the tools to help people and i guess the qualifications you know the so people thought well she's legit um i wanted to give that to people it it meant a lot yeah yeah i can see that and i think it's wonderful the more we connect with what motivates us I really believe that the better we're going to do, the more passionate we can be about it, the better we're going to do. Now, as you've gone along your journey, tell me about some of the things that you've been able to do as a coach, some of the things that you love doing as a coach right now. Like, where do, What lights your fire as a coach with the work that you get to do helping men and women? Uh, um, I love... So I work predominantly with businesses now, uh, which is which is awesome because, you know, I go in there to help people get their business together. We work so much more in depth and as for them and their people and their team. I love going in and starting with people on what they think is going to be a, right, we're going to do X, Y, and Z, and we're talking about figures. And then we get into, well, what is the real, what's going on underneath and helping people go from, being in their heads to getting into their hearts and helping people going from being, and I think one of the key issues in relation, the key problems in relationships is that people are that stressed out that they don't have time for people in their life. I know for me, that was a big one. Um, so being able to help people have workplace environments that are stress, that dial down the stress that is actually rewarding and watching them smile and coming, you know, with an open heart and how that filters then out into their families and into their relationships and watching how, you know, I'm working with one team at the moment, Matt, who, the, to watch this team work together, they're like a family and the way they love each other and support each other. Oh, it just fills my heart. And to be able to, to, be able to gift that to them, um, that warms me. That actually made me some earrings the other day that says W, um, W, W, uh, A, D or something. And it stands for what would Alison do? And so when they're, they're having these moments, they say, well, what would Alison say? She'd say, center ourselves or take a deep breath. Like, that's amazing to, yeah, to give people that value. It is. That is something that is just so special. And you can't, I don't think you can put a dollar figure on that. Just knowing that, because obviously, obviously, obviously you run a business, you get paid to do it. But I think the most important thing is like, you're changing these people's lives. Like they're coming yeah. to work now. And you know, the truth is, is that we spend the majority of our life at work, right? Compared to any mm. other time. And so many people, they hate what they do, which is so sad. Yeah. Or they, they work in a culture that's really toxic. And to be able to go in and change the relationships of the organization, that's just beautiful. Yeah. They're, they're, you, the, the ripples are huge. Now, I also know right. that you have applied these learnings from the school to your own relationship. Tell us about that and tell us about 
what you've maybe some of the things that you've gone through or your, your things that you're proud of or anything you'd love to share. Yeah, um, I have met this for I think the first couple of years um, this journey was more about me than it was even my business um, everything I learned and doing the work now in the school has taken me to do some work with other coaches and people even outside of the school and explore more um, and I can genuinely say I my family would not be together if I had not joined TCI and if I wasn't doing the learnings that I was doing um, my relationship you know, I think we grow up and we believe of the fairy tale. You meet each other and, and you just like kind of click and it fits and you all live happily ever after. And it's bull, bull crap. Like it really is. It's a whole lot of crap. You know, you have two people that are growing and changing together and you add pressure and we're both very driven to want to do more. And we just rubbed against each other and could not find common ground. And we still don't that sometimes. Um we have the tools though now to work out how to communicate with each other. And um, being able to do the work on myself, you know, I always said I had a really normal upbringing and I didn't, I didn't have a normal upbringing. And I was left with triggers and scars and stuff, my own insecurities and my own triggers that um, my husband just triggered in me <laughs> so much. Um, which now looking at it, I say, what a gift, because I wouldn't be where I am now if it wasn't for my relationship. But the, it's been tough and we've fought and we've left each other. And, you know, I've been on the phone to you going, I, I don't know where to go. Um, I've met the end of my road so many times with not knowing what tomorrow is going to look like. And <clears throat> I, I don't know where I would be now if it wasn't for having done this work. Um, I don't know where my husband will be. And it's awesome. He's starting to do the work himself now as well. And, you know, he joined in on your ultimate, um, ultimate you the other day, he sat in for a little while, which was awesome. It's this, this work that we do. Um, I think I look at relationships now and I think, you know, we're in this shift where 50 years ago, people, you just got together and you didn't ask questions. It was just, um, quite business-like, I guess. And now we're moving to a space where we're more aware of ourselves, but there's the gap of how to communicate with each other and love each other and be open and um, have fulfilling relationship. There's still that gap. And I think what we do is so important because we're here to help people close that gap. And I know for me, that's what me and my husband are now doing. Um, sometimes we get it right. Sometimes we get it wrong, but we're in it together now. And it's, pretty awesome it's so yeah. important it's so important now this this your story will inspire so many people and i imagine there's people watching this right now thinking this is amazing i'd love to be able to go on a similar journey to what allison's experienced what would you say to someone who's considering joining the school and starting their journey as a coach i would say don't think about it anymore just do it really just do it thank you so much allison yeah. it's awesome to have you here <laughs> wonderful Thank you, Matt. My absolute pleasure.